at long, long last. Yes, the prepper meet this year in 2023 is a go. Yes, I know it's been a nightmare to be frank, okay? But without waffling on about all of that, um, I'm here to tell you all the information you're gonna need to book this year. The dates that you need to concern yourself with is July the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th, okay? So it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, leave Monday, okay? Um, the reason I chose these dates is because um, it's <laughs> it could be right or could be wrong because um, it's gonna be in Brecon, a eh? three miles just outside um, Brecon town and we're trying to get the best weather and I know it's an impossible task but we hope for the best also it's a time where if families want to come along it's um the kids are going to be out of school then so you haven't got to worry about all of that rigmarole of booking your kids out of school during the school time so what we need to do is to go through what's on offer um, at the, the site the actual name of the site is um, ABBA Brand 4 and the link you're going to need to book is below this video so please go down to that, click on there and it will take you straight through. Uh, what I'm going to do in the second part of this video, I'm just going to go indoors and show you exactly what you need to do on the website. Um, the reason I'm doing this is to eliminate as many questions as possible so we're going to get all the information to you on this one easy to swallow video. Okay. So, um, the postcode is LD39NG. So that's Lima, Delta, Free, Niner, November, Golf. That's where you need to be, okay? It's pretty accurate. The sat nav will take you straight to the site, okay? And I will be arriving there early to put signs up just to help as many people as I possibly can. Um, I'm not making any money from this whatsoever. I just want um, to get everyone together because that's what we do every year, no matter what, there will be a prepper meet. Yes, it's in a different venue. Um, it makes a lot more sense for me and myself to go all the way over to the other side of the country where we've been doing it since 2013. And it's an opportunity to get people who couldn't travel that far to maybe come this year, okay? So I really do apologize, it's taken so long to do. And I do apologize for not replying to all of the questions about is there gonna be one, where is it, etc. I couldn't really say anything until this got confirmed. I tried my best with somewhere else, and to be frank, I've heard this, don't shoot me, but try, trying to get things done in Wales is a bit of a nightmare because lots of people are seriously busy, whatever it is, but that's how it is. I found somewhere, I've been down there to check, I've met the owner, it's amazing. Talk about a place with beautiful scenery like you wouldn't believe okay um also i'm going to try and speak to my friend and if he says it's okay i'm going to drop the link below this video he was there six years ago and he took some drone footage of the site so there it is if it's there it's good if the link isn't there then i can't get hold of him or he doesn't want me to use that link so check anyway okay so what else do we need to know um yes what the place has regards facilities it's got showers, toilets, um, chemical toilet disposal point. Um, dogs are absolutely okay. Um, they did say um, there's nowhere really to put hammocks, but there is a few trees along the river, and it's literally going to be first come, first served. I would hazard a guess to say there'll probably be room for 10, maybe 15 hammocks, but no more. So it's literally, if you get there early, you've got the, the pick of the choice um, to pull your hammocks up. Now, bearing in mind, it is summertime, it is by a river, so you have got insects to consent, um, to think about if you decide that you really want to do hammock camping, okay? Um, it's ideally set for a huge, great big field. Yes, it's level, and it's not like the other site where you've got this horrendous flight path with aeroplanes going over all the time. It's absolutely peaceful and quiet, just like we are here in the middle of Wales. Um, it's mainly set up for vehicles and tents, okay? So they've got all sorts of um, vehicles and things they've had there in the past. They've had like bug out vehicles, they've had tents, they've had awnings. All of that is absolutely doable there, okay? Furthermore, it's got disabled access in regards to the shower block and it's ramps and things like that. So if you have got um, problems moving around, they've actually got that catered for you there, okay? There's water taps on site. There's a washroom, so you can wash up all of your dishes and that sort of thing. 
Um, it's got a kids play area, so if we want to go and play, that's absolutely awesome. Um, the price, now check this, trying to get a campsite with a lot of people um, for a reasonable price is very difficult. It's what's taken so long, but £11 a night per person, okay? That is super reasonable, okay? Some of the places I've been to, they've asked for £20, £22, and it just goes crazy. So for three nights, £33, and that's it, you're done. Um, if you've got kids, if they're under 16 years old, they've only got to pay £6, okay? So it's very, very reasonable. Also, they do family discounts, so two adults, two children you save a bit of money that way as well okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside now i'm going to try and get the website up on the screen and try to do like a little mini presentation of how you book and what you need to do um, when you actually book there's a little message area before you actually um, confirm the booking you have to put in there in capital letters prepper meet okay if you don't do that it's going to cock everything up all right but you must remember to do that. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do all that when we go inside. So let's hope that we see as many people as possible. Um, I did say it's gonna be between 100 and 150 people, but if loads of people turn up, it's absolutely fine. They're fully catered to have a lot of people there. It's a big, big flat level field. There's no slopes, none of that um, malarkey. And it's very, very easy for vehicles to get from the A40, I think it is, the main road, straight down there. It's super simple. You haven't got to worry about bumpy tracks and potholes and everything else. And guess what? They've got a little shop there where they do all local um, produce, which they all produce there on the farm. And one of the coolest things, which has never happened on a prep meet before, they've got a pick your own fruit farm too. And I do believe if we're lucky, there's gonna be strawberries everywhere. So let's keep it crossed. There's um, a multitude of different fruits which are gonna be available. So um, yes, if you like your fresh food, you like the clean, and it is very clean outdoors, it's absolutely all done. And one of the icing on the cake for this sort of thing is all of your rubbish, you can leave there and they'll get rid of it for free. But they do ask you to recycle stuff. So if you've got lots of plastic and metal and stuff, if you can separate it and put it in the relevant bins, and there's great big bins for general um, rubbish, okay? Um, you can have fires, but listen, this is very important. It must be in a fire pit, okay? You can't leave burn marks on the ground. They did say there are already spots around that site with existing burn marks and the farm are absolutely fine for you to use those existing burn marks. That's cool, okay? Um, if you haven't got a fire pit, they will give you one for free. You don't have to pay for all of this stuff like other um, prepper meats that we've done before. It's absolutely awesome. It's very affordable. It's dog friendly. It really is a perfect place. So we're gonna go inside now and we're gonna get it up on the website and we're gonna show you exactly how you book. Okay, so we'll be seeing you there. It's going to be starting on a Friday. So if you can arrive from 8 p.m. in the morning onwards, it will be absolutely awesome. And yes, book in advance, turn up, and then you're in there. Okay, so here we are. Here is the website. We need to go to this button here where it says book online. We click into that. And then what we do is we go down to the bottom of the screen. Incidentally, here are your payment options and any contact details is all here on the website, okay? It's pretty straightforward. We go to this area here where it says Meadow Field, okay? It must be the bottom one, none of these, the bottom one. So we click onto there, we change the date from May with this arrow until so June again, and you see July. Okay, so Friday, if we come down here, Friday the 28th, so we click on 28th, and the day that we're leaving is on the Monday, which is here, the 31st of July. We click that. Job done. All we need to do is we need to select how many is going. If it's just one adult, plain and simple, there it is, £33 for one adult for three nights there. And the deposit, etc. All you do is you'll put your details in. Incidentally, the word zip, that actually means postcode. So you put your postcode in there. And where it says notes, this is very important indeed. I suggest you put caps lock on or capital letters and you type in this. 
the words prepper meat p-r-e-p-p-e-r space m-e-e-t prepper meat if you don't do that it's probably not going to work and it's going to cause a whole host of problems okay once you've selected your payment method and you click continue you are in and we shall see you on the 28th of july we'll see you guys soon you guys take care thanks for watching and stay funky